In 2013 and 2014, Transition Galway organised a series of open public visioning events to allow people to come and share their ideas for a low carbon sustainable Galway city by the year 2030. Members of Transition Galway then compiled all of the ideas, big and small, received from the public at these sessions into one final document. This document has been divided into eight chapters and we have produced eight short films, one for each chapter, outlining the solutions in each. We hope that this project will go some way towards creating a better, more resilient Galway by 2030. Hi, my name is Lisa. And my name is Kieran. We're going to go through the ideas generated for the energy section. This is just a brief summary. All of the ideas are explained in detail on the website and in the visioning document. Low energy lifestyles. The easiest way to reduce our environmental impact is to reduce the amount of energy we use in the first place. Choices we make every day determine how sustainably we live. Energy efficiency. We can be far less wasteful and far more efficient in the way we generate and use energy. The International Energy Agency says that improved energy efficiency in buildings, industry and transportation could reduce the world's energy needs in 2050 by one third. Centre for Practical Sustainability for Galway. The Galway area is an ideal location for a new sustainable technology prototyping, development and testing centre. This centre would be a multi-purpose facility whose main focus is in the developing of new green technologies. Such a centre would encourage collaboration between local organisations and incorporate an educational visitor centre for tourists. Energy storage. Energy storage, especially of electricity, is very useful because it allows the energy collected by renewables, such as wind, be stored until needed. Many types of energy storage technology already exist or are being developed, including gravel batteries and compressed air. Combined heat and power. Combined heat and power, or CHP, is the simultaneous generation of usable heat and power in a single process. CHP is very efficient and is proving a popular solution for hotels as they can generate both their own electricity and thermal energy to heat rooms and water for guests. Novel use of the gas grid. Many places are connected to the natural gas grid. However, natural gas is a finite fossil fuel and is mostly imported. We could continue to use the gas grid infrastructure but deliver biogas or even compressed air instead of natural gas. Compressed air technologies. Compressed air could be produced using wind and other renewables and then used to drive motors and other devices. The entire natural gas grid could also be used as a giant battery to store energy and used when required to generate electricity from compressed air. Compressed air can also be stored in large areas such as disused mines and caverns. Energy efficient new and existing buildings. Much of our building stock is a poor quality in terms of energy performance. An ambitious energy retrofitting program for our existing building stock needs to take place. All new buildings would be designed and built to be carbon zero or carbon positive. An oil-free Galway by 2030. Galway City would be an exemplar city and test bed for different technologies and approaches by becoming oil-free by 2030. The Government of Sweden proposed a similar programme in 2006 for their entire country to be oil-free by 2020. Electric vehicles. Electric vehicles are one cleaner alternative to petrol and diesel vehicles, especially if they use electricity generated from renewables such as wind. 
the embodied energy of current electric vehicles is significant and must be factored into any decisions on alternatives to oil fuel vehicles. Energy producing gyms. An energy producing gym has exercise equipment that transforms the energy the gym members generate back into the grid. Most of the exercise machines have screens that show how much energy has been generated and how much carbon dioxide has been saved. Single wind turbines in the city. Galway could generate some of its own power through large single wind turbines within the city. The turbines could be of varying designs with information boards and digital displays showing the real-time electricity generation of each turbine. Stoves instead of open fireplaces. Open fires and chimneys are very wasteful and are major sources of heat loss in houses. Installing a modern solid fuel stove in an open fireplace is much more efficient with far less heat wasted up the chimney and far less fuel use. Clean solid fuels. Many homes burn solid fuel in fireplaces, ranges and stoves. Clean and local solid fuel, such as solid wood, wood chip and wood pellets, should be used instead of fossil fuels, such as coal. Tidal and hydro energy. Power could be harnessed from the city's canals and from the tides in Galway Bay. Tidal current power and hydro turbine technology have matured and are now more commercially viable. Fuel poverty alleviation. Irish households spend on average between 1,300 and 2,500 euros a year on heating fuel and light, with many suffering from energy poverty. Homes need to be made more energy efficient, especially in the rental sector. Energy research, collaboration and outreach. Research needs to be expanded around the enormous challenges of a low carbon energy future. An interagency research cluster could be established to be a catalyst in transforming research to commercial opportunities, employment and real life application. Bioenergy. Bioenergy is renewable energy made from materials derived from biological sources, such as wood, grass, straw, sugar beet, food waste and manure. Bioenergy has great potential for employment, especially in rural areas. Solar power potential, solar thermal and photovoltaic. The sun is a source of free energy that can be used for heating our buildings, for hot water and to produce electricity. As has been shown in Germany, solar panels for electricity generation are viable in northern latitudes such as Ireland. Auto production. Auto production is the production of electricity for a business's own use on their own premises. Spare electricity not used on site by the business can be exported to the grid. Microgeneration energy co-ops. Microgeneration is the small-scale generation of power by individuals, small businesses and communities. This power can be used locally or sold to the grid. Groups can gather together in co-ops to obtain a better selling price for their excess electricity. Financing local low-carbon energy projects. Building a low-carbon energy system will require large investments of money. It is crucial the finance be available now to fund the great transition to a sustainable energy infrastructure.